Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the expression for cutoff wavelength lambda c in a rectangular wavelength. So, cutoff wavelength, cutoff wavelength indicated by lambda c. So, what do you mean by lambda c, cutoff c? How can you define this? Cutoff wavelength is the wavelength of a wave that is traveling through a rectangular waveguide which allows the rectangular waveguide which allows the signals with less than this cutoff frequency and all the signals which are greater than this cutoff wavelength are eliminated. Okay, how can you define this? The waves in rectangular waveguide rectangular waveguide the waves that are traveling in the rectangular waveguide should have the wavelength less than the wavelength less than cutoff wavelength okay that means any general wave any general wave which is having a lambda wavelength with less than lambda c can only be able to pass through the can only able to pass through the waveguide okay that means our cutoff wavelength is the greater than greater than the signals cutoff wavelength signals wavelength that are going to be traveled through the rectangular waveguide Okay, so how can you solve this one? Let us start the derivation. Already we know, uh, we know h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon. I already told you this equation we will consider in future when we were uh, discussing this h square for the first time in the propagation of waves in the rectangular wave. I told you there h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon definitely we will consider in the future calculation. So for the calculation of a cutoff wavelength lambda c we are using this. So h square and we also know that h square is equal to a square plus b square. So what we have got a square plus b square n pi a is nothing but n pi by a n pi by b whole square plus n pi by a whole square okay so substitute this gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to n pi by b whole square plus m pi by a whole square okay so keep gamma one side gamma square is equal to m pi by b whole square plus n pi by a whole square minus omega square mu epsilon n pi by b it is n pi by b otherwise you can change the here okay now we can equate this as gamma is equal to square root of m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square minus omega square mu epsilon you can equate this equal to alpha plus j beta what is alpha and what is beta where Gamma there we have taken it is an operator in the z direction propagation direction nothing but propagation constant we can call this uh, gamma as propagation constant propagation constant what about alpha and beta alpha is nothing but attenuation constant attenuation constant what is this beta beta is nothing but phase constant phase constant okay so propagation constant is equal to combination of attenuation constant plus 
phase constant suppose take this notation take this notation in this if this factor second factor is less than the first two addition then gamma is positive value real value if the second value is greater value that means if frequency is more however uh, mu and sigma mu and epsilon are constants so they will not increase and decrease in their values only the change is in terms of frequency omega so if frequency increases what about this uh, equation becomes imaginary so if omega square mu epsilon is less than m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square then what about gamma gamma is real and positive real and positive suppose if omega square mu epsilon is greater than m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square then gamma is imaginary okay so the frequency at which we can also define this uh, cutoff frequency cutoff wavelength cutoff frequency both are same but inversely one is inversely proportional to other with, re with respect to c okay we know lambda c is equal to c by f c lambda is equal to c by f lambda c equal to c by f c what is f c cutoff frequency so the frequency the frequency at which gamma is equal to 0 it is known as it is known as cutoff frequency the frequency at which the gamma nothing but propagation constant is 0 that is nothing but cutoff frequency that means if there is no propagation there is no propagation at this frequency that frequency is known as cutoff frequency so we can write at f is equal to fc or omega equal to omega c we can say gamma is equal to 0 so what about this gamma is already you know gamma is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square minus omega square nothing but omega c you can have to substitute mu epsilon that is equal to 0. So omega c square mu epsilon is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square okay so omega c square is equal to 1 by mu epsilon m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square the derivation is somewhat lengthy but it is easy okay and a very very important and frequently asked question is calculation of cutoff frequency okay see square on the other hand it is root so omega c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square under root so omega c is nothing but 2 pi f c that is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon and this one m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square so what we need we need cutoff frequency fc so fc equal to 1 by 2 by mu epsilon square root of m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square but the relation between c the relation 
between or among between relation among <laughs> relation among c mu epsilon is c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon okay this is the relation between the velocity of light or velocity of electromagnetic signal with respect to mu and e permittivity and permeability so then fc becomes c by 2 pi c by 2 pi m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square under root can we simplify further okay keep c by 2 pi as it is and take this as 1 by 2 because it is root okay now m pi by a whole square n pi by b whole square you can take pi common so pi square you can take common m square by a square plus n square by b square okay so if you take this pi outside 2 by 2 cancelled and this pi pi gets cancelled so c by 2 and it is m square b square plus n square a square by a square into b square whole power 1 by 2 again a b if you take out it becomes c by 2 a b root or m square b square plus n square a square this is the cutoff frequency fc okay but what we need cutoff wavelength we need cutoff wavelength what is the formula for cutoff wavelength lambda c equal to c by fc just if you take this fc on this side and remaining on the other hand then you will be having lambda c therefore lambda c is equal to 2 a b what is this 2 a b by <coughs> m square b square plus m square a square under root this is lambda c as it is having different types of modes for cutoff frequency also you can just write lambda c m comma n both are accepted you can simply write lambda c or lambda c m comma n it is in terms of m comma n that's why it is lambda c m n okay So this is the cutoff wavelength formula very 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 important definitely you will get this formula in examination because the cutoff wavelength from this cutoff wavelength you can using the values of m and n a and b you can calculate what is the cutoff wavelength of the wave that travels in the waveguide okay thank you.